Welcome back, historians. Do you ever wonder what happens when you flush the toilet? I mean, the stuff in the toilet, which I don't even want to talk about, just goes away, right? Well, modern plumbing is relatively new to the world. I mean, even in the early 20th century, many people in the United States were still using outhouses. But what if I told you that at least one ancient civilization had plumbing systems thousands of years ago? Today, we begin our look at ancient India. Our lesson objectives are to Describe the geography of ancient Indian civilizations. Describe the primary cultural and technological advancements of the Harappans. And explain the impact of the Harappans on other civilizations. Are you ready, historians? Can you imagine life without plumbing? Whew, me either. But think about how important this would be in a place like ancient India, which had lots and lots of people. The land attracted many settlers to the area. The first ones to show up on the scene lived in the Indus Valley. They set up shop in the northwest corner of the Indian subcontinent. Now, you might be thinking, Indus Valley? What's that? Well, just like the name suggests, that's the land around the Indus River. The group of people called the Harappans came up with the first civilization in the Indus Valley. As you'd expect, the river was super helpful. It gave them water for their crops and helped them travel. But the river also had bad days and would flood the area sometimes. These floods were messy, but they made the soil really rich and perfect for growing their favorite crops like wheat, barley, and even cotton. Later Indian civilizations followed the Harappans' lead and stayed in what is now northern India as their base of operations. The area has some amazingly unique geographic features. It includes the world's tallest mountains, the Himalayas. I'll save the lesson on plate tectonics for the geography class, but geologists believe the Himalayas are still getting taller as the Earth continues to shift ever so slightly. Nearby, the Hindu Kush mountains are like a little brother following the examples set by the Himalayas. The tall and tough mountains acted like a giant wall for the Harappans, keeping other folks out. Plus, these mountains were like treasure chests, full of goodies like copper and gold, which the Harappans used for trading and making pretty decorations. Now add to that mix the Thar Desert, which lies to the east. The Thar is filled with sand dunes and arid plains, making it a tough place for humans. All those mountains, along with the Thar Desert, isolated India from other civilizations such as Mesopotamia and Egypt, and helped shape India into a distinctly unique culture. One of the biggest issues that all cities face is waste. Can you imagine dealing with human waste before indoor plumbing? Well, thankfully, the Harappans were masters at planning cities. They designed their cities like a giant checkerboard, with streets crisscrossing each other at perfect right angles. And guess what? The streets were wide and made of baked bricks. Yup, the Harappans figured out a way how to make clay bricks stronger. Now, look at these ruins, but imagine a city with fancy public buildings in the middle, including a place to store food, a hall for everyone to gather, and even public baths to keep everyone clean. Can you believe that they had an impressive drainage system? Let's stop and think for a second. What would be important about a drainage system? Yeah, it carries away dirty water and waste, and with it, germs and bacteria. And how did they do that, you might ask? The Harappans cleverly built their cities on high ground, so the streets sloped down so rainwater and other stuff could flow away easily. Sure does beat that outhouse, huh? <laughs> the Harappans were also master craftsmen, making intricate jewelry and tools from gold, silver, and bronze. 
and creating all sorts of pottery. Plus, they were expert farmers, growing crops like cotton, which they traded with other civilizations. But here's a mystery. Unlike many civilizations, there's no evidence that the Harappans had temples. So here's a question. What do you think the lack of temples tells you about their society? Hmm. We will see if you were right when we learn more about their religion later. Another puzzle is their writing system. They had one, but we still have not cracked the code. So there's so much about them that we're still guessing. Despite all these incredible achievements, the Harappan civilization eventually faded away, and we still don't know exactly why, especially since their writing is a mystery to us. But their city building skills still inspire us today. With things like plumbing and other incredible inventions, the Harappans became famous in places far, far away. They were like ancient celebrities, changing the course of history and culture in South Asia and beyond. Even though we haven't been able to read their writings, guess what archaeologists discovered? The Harappans were trading buddies with people as far away as Mesopotamia. How did they figure this out? They found artifacts like this one in Mesopotamia, with Harappan seals on them. A seal is a design stamped into an object to indicate its origin. It's a bit like finding a Made in USA tag on your clothes. And these Harappan ideas, like their super smart city planning, didn't just stay in the Indus Valley. They spread around, much like a trending dance to your favorite song. Even the grid-like city designs in places like Babylon might have been inspired by the Harappans. The Harappans also became trendsetters in farming. They built canals and dams and grew cotton. Their love for cotton even started a fashion revolution in South Asia. And traders might have even taken it to places like Egypt. Today, cotton is a superstar in the clothing world. Finally, the Harappans had a big impact on religion and society. Their way of worshipping helped shape Hinduism, and their society's structure with leaders, artists, merchants, and farmers influenced the region for centuries. Remember how we said the Harappans didn't have temples? So you may be wondering how we know they worshipped many gods. Well, we can't read their writings either, so I mean, how would we know? For one, Harappan figurines like this show people praying. Archaeologists have found artifacts such as these that indicate that the Harappans had several gods. Maybe we will know more about them and their religion if we ever decipher their writings, huh? The Harappans settled along the fertile Indus River creating a civilization that was protected from many invaders by the Himalayas and Hindu Kush mountains. Though isolated in many ways, this cultural hearth grew to be larger than Mesopotamia and Egypt combined. One lasting legacy to the world is their urban planning, including a grid system for city streets, public facilities, baked bricks, a drainage system built on high ground that served as a model for modern cities, so the next time you walk on a city street or see a manhole cover, remember the Harappans. They were the pioneers of these cool ideas thousands of years ago. Sure, they also came up with a system of government, trade networks, a polytheistic religion, and a social structure, all of which influenced India for centuries, which is all good. But in my opinion, the Harappans are heroes for their ideas on plumbing. I, I don't even want to go there. Next time, keep an eye on the further development of India, including sacred literature that provided the basis for one of the world's oldest and most popular religions. Until then, historians, keep on covering the past and looking to the future. And remember to always be clever. Hey.